What is up everybody? It's Re or Rebel Inks Art here again with another character design challenge. Today's prompt was Storm Magical Girl, but before we get into that, I just wanted to say I just hit 100 subscribers, which I know isn't the biggest number, but it means a whole lot to me and I'm super excited about finally hitting that milestone. Uh, I do have a video planned, it's kind of like a celebration of hitting 100 subscribers. Uh, it's not going to be up for a little bit just because there's a little bit of planning that has to go into it first, but look forward to that. I'm super excited for you guys to see what I've got planned. It's going to be a, a, just a whole bunch of fun. Uh, so heading into this picture, I knew that the one thing I wanted to challenge myself with this picture was to really focus on improving my coloring. My coloring is something I kind of realized has been bugging me a lot about my art. Normally when I'm happy with unhappy with pictures, it's because I didn't push the coloring far enough, especially the shading. Uh, and so because of that, I really wanted to focus on making sure I do a whole lot of effort into the shading today. And I'm really happy with the end result, so I wanted to head in there, give it a very anime kind of feeling. Went with some like sailor vibes to kind of channel Sailor Moon. Uh, but I knew I wanted to do very similar to the Storm Witch I did back forever ago in this series, and I wanted to give her a cloud skirt. Uh, and then I got the idea pretty early on to have like tornado twin drills, just as another fun little way of pulling those storm elements into this picture. And we see me kind of sketching those out now. Um, I think my favorite part of this, though, would definitely be the dress. I think it turned out super cute. I debated a couple different ways to do it. Um, originally I was just gonna do kind of a spherical orb cloud, and I realized, no, it'd be a lot more fun to do some, like, Pixar-esque clouds. And I think the end result turned out super cute. Also gave her some little lightning-esque ribbons coming down from her, uh, her pigtails before heading in there. One thing that I struggled with a little bit was the pose on this. I wanted her to look like she was floating, uh, but I had a hard time making her look like she wasn't just kind of bizarrely kind of stick floating there. Uh, but I think I settled on something that looks, looks kind of okay. <laughs> heading in there using kind of those like sailor collar elements, um, both for a collar and then for sleeves. And then I gave her a little torso that turns into raindrops before adding in those Pixar clouds for the skirt. And then finally the legs, something that gave me quite a bit of trouble. I'm really hoping that Toothless Meowing is not showing up in the recording. He decided uh, right now is the ideal time to start screaming outside my door, so thanks Toothless, I appreciate that. Uh, I knew I wanted to have her holding a little like magical girl wand. I figured out pretty fast it would be cute to have it be like a little umbrella shaped magical girl wand maybe that opens up when she's casting spells. I feel like this was something I could have uh, designed a little bit better but that's okay. It's just something for when I expand on the design in the future. Yes I know Toothless. Oh that's absolutely showing up in the recording. I guarantee it. We get a little cat cameo today. Uh, for those of you wondering why my cats can't really be heard in any of my videos anymore, uh, Cheddar got them both permanently banned from the computer room uh, when he wouldn't stop chewing on my computer power cables. Uh, so that's why they're no longer in recording, but Toothless is trying his hardest to show up in this one anyways. Heading in there with that line art. I think the eyes turned out super cute too. I wanted to give her those big anime lashes and I think it turned out pretty cute. Yes, Toothless, I know. I'm gonna have to go pet him after this is done recording. <laughs> he's been a big old baby lately. I don't know what he's going through. I guess it's because I've been working so much. And it's about right here I decide I want to give her some more little, like, kind of glove things just to kind of pull everything together a little bit more. I think the hands turned out pretty good too, considering I didn't use a reference. They're obviously not the greatest, but considering I drew them from memory, I'm pretty how uh, sorry, pretty proud of them. Especially the one holding the wand. Finally getting a little better at hands. I'm glad to see some improvement in that area. And going in there and lining those pigtails. These gave me a little bit of a red for my money, but I ended up with a result I'm pretty happy with, so I guess that's another little area of improvement. I haven't drawn twin drills in literally so long. Uh, it took me back to my Vocaloid days. It was quite a trip. But there was something very soothing about drawing those nice big old spirals. And then for the, um, the little lightning uh, ribbons, what I did was I used the edge tool before selecting the middle and erasing them uh, because they don't have a way to make the inside of the edge pen transparent on MetaBang yet. To my knowledge, they may have added that recently and I just hadn't heard about it, but uh, when I was learning how to use it, there has been no 
no transparent option for that, which is fine. Hopefully they'll get to that someday, and if not, we make do. And then I finally got the legs in a way I like them before adding in those boots, closing up the rest of my line work, and then heading in there for some sloppy colors. So for this, I made her hair a nice silver to kind of give it that tornado vibe. Before using some nice deep blues for her torso, changing it into a light blue for the raindrops. Messed around with eye color for a bit. I knew I wanted to have some purple and gold elements. And then going in there, starting cleaning things up, starting with the eyes as I do. Decided to give them a little more detail than I normally do, just because I really wanted to push myself for this picture. So I did the color outlines around the eye, the, um, sorry, the pupils, like I used to, uh, especially for flower power, and I really kind of stopped doing it, and I'm not sure why, because it looks kind of cute. I do like it. And then going in, cleaning up the hair, just a little bit before finishing up that mouth so I don't forget it. And then going back to cleaning up the hair and the ribbons. One thing I wish I would have done is I wish I would have given her more accessories. The ribbons are cute, but I could have done more things like that. Magical girls kind of always accessorize to the T, and so I wish I would have pulled a little bit more of that in there. I do a nice little gradient to purple from the silver on her ponytails, just to give them a little bit more, a little bit more of a pop. I think the purple looks cute, kind of pulls in the purple in the wand. And then going in there, filling in the torso of the dress, so I can give it a nice gradient as well. I have been messing with gradients a lot more, and I think the reason for that is because I've realized it's something I really love seeing in the art I look at and wish my art looked like, and so I'm just trying to work more of that in there. I feel like it gives it a nice, fun little pop. For the little lines on the different sailor suit elements, I used a light yellow instead of a white like you normally see, just because it would help bring in the gold elements that we see. And I'm going in, cleaning up the rain cloud before, and I'm sure this will surprise you, making a nice little gradient to gray, just to kind of turn it into a storm cloud near the bottom. I feel like when she's fighting, uh, it'll get progressively more and more stormy. I feel like her dress will start lightening in the um, really intense boss battles. And then here we are starting on that shading. One thing I tried for this picture that I hadn't tried before was taking the blur tool and softening the edges of some of the parts of the shading. Uh, I left, you know, some of the sides still crisp and clean. I don't really understand, like, why I did them in the, lo you know, the locations that I did them. I'm still learning this technique, so it's not the greatest yet, but I'm really happy with the end result, so this is something I'm probably going to mess with a little bit more. It just gives it a nice, slightly more polished feeling. And then going in, adding some darker and lighter elements in that shading, and then going in and doing the same thing to the hair. For this, I shaded with a nice kind of slate blue, and then I used the airbrush tool to kind of gradiate it to a nice deep lilac near the bottoms of the ponytail to match with the gradient. There we go, and then I'm going to go in with the blur tool on that as well. Just makes it all look just a little bit softer, you know, without losing any of the cleanness. And then finally going in and just doing a little bit of shading on the cloud, just to show that like her, her top and her hands are sitting on top of this. Makes it feel a little bit more cartoony. And then finally doing our background. And then I also use a tip from, and I'm so sorry, I don't remember your username, but somebody recommended I start trying to color my line art a little bit more, even if it's just doing one color. And so I gave her a nice little navy line art, and I think it gives it a whole lot more polish. So thank you so much for that tip. I'm definitely going to use this more. Here we have that finished illustration, and I'm super happy with her. I think she turned out so cute. 
Um, I definitely had a ton of fun with this, and I feel like I picked up a lot of good habits that I'm going to try and build off of more. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to try creating your own aesthetic characters, the link to the generator I made for these videos is in the description below. Uh, and until I see you I, guys again, I hope you have a great day, I hope you eat some great food, and I hope you make some great art. Bye bye I love you!